I'm doing great. How's everything with you guys? Everything's good. You got your Super Bowl pick? Uh, I'm probably rolling with Cam. Yeah. Uh, to be realistically, you know, part of the Auburn family. So I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with Cam, to be honest with you. Okay, but don't bet with your heart. If Cam went to Alabama, would you be picking Cam? Well, I'm probably going to bet on the Broncos. Uh, I want Cam to win. I love Peyton, what he's accomplished. I want Cam to win, but if it's Steve where is that four and a half to five, I might go roll, roll with Denver because it just, man, it's just, this might be destiny. I don't believe in destiny in sports, but it just might, that defense can carry them one more game. Uh, you know, that, that'd that be amazing. We were talking about the art of retirement, that if you're Peyton Manning, if you play well, you're more likely to come back. If you win, are you more no, likely to come like back? No, What no, is it? No, it doesn't work like that. Like, when you're a great player, you want to have one more good year so you can ret- – because, like, you know, you probably should have retired as a player not just this one year. You probably had a couple bad years in a row. So, in your mind, you're like, I'm going to try to have one good more year, one great year, then retire on top. Uh, that's what what actually happened. But you very seldom can have another good year. That's the reason you're having those bad years. <laughs> your body just can't do it anymore. But you try to psych yourself into, like, I want to leave on my own terms. But nobody leaves on their own terms. Uh, so th- that's the thing. And Peyton, you know, he gonna, got a chance to win the Super Bowl in his last game. So it work, it, it could work out perfectly. But it's it's just time. I, I'm surprised at the fallout with uh, how people view the Carolina Panthers, Cam Newton, how much fun they have. Even if you know they're giving footballs to little kids here, why why is it that people have a hard time processing the Panthers and Cam Newton? Well, I I hate bringing up the race card because there's more important race stuff. Like the race does have something to do with it. Uh, number one. Uh, but I think that, you know, they rub it in pretty good, in fairness. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's a, there, there is a racial component, but I hate talking about that because we as black people, we got way more important things where race is, is a factor than something silly like sports. Uh, so I think, man, they, let me tell you something. As much as I love Cam Newton, if I played against Cam Newton, I'd put a hit on him, no question. <laughs> Because, man, they rub it in pretty good. It's fun to watch, I guess, as a fan. If you like Carolina, and I guess, and I love sports, they're having so much fun. But it wouldn't be a lot of fun to play against. Because if you're dabbing and supermaning and you're kicking my butt, I, hey, I'm going get to the, the, get the players together. I said, the first guy can hit that guy, take him out. He, we got to get rid of him because they rub it in pretty good. That, and that has something to do with it also. Did you, but there is a racial component, uh, to be honest with you, Dan. And I hate that because we as black people got way more important crap to worry about than uh, stuff like that. But do you think. You know, and, and, you know, and ESPN has already started their crap about black versus white, good versus evil. And, and, and I know a lot of those fools over there got radio talk shows. But you can still see they're framing this narrative. Uh, black against white, good against evil. It really annoys the hell out of me. We really just can't appreciate the greatness of uh, of Peyton. And, uh, and, and, and clearly Cam is on the track to become one of the greatest players ever. But I just hate you can already see him framing a narrative, black versus white, good versus evil. And that's the problem you have two weeks in between games. But they're both great players. They're both good guys. But, you know, a lot of these fools on Espen got radio shows. And the best way to make talk radio good is make it racial. Because you bring in every fool in the world when you bring up race. Because race is a very serious subject. But you got so many fools out there, they can't have an honest, fair conversation on race. But is it Cam being black playing back that people have a problem with in your your mind? Or that he how he celebrates, or what, what or is it all encompassing? Uh, uh, well, listen. First of all, there's all there's a long history of how uh, a lot of black quarterbacks have been ruined because they weren't allowed to play quarterback. Uh, I, I, I think it's not that simple. I just think that he's so exuberant. Even the stuff you go back to Auburn, uh, you know, there's some of that there too. Which, uh, I, as I always said, 
If we gave Cam Newton two hundred thousand dollars to come to Auburn, boy, that was a good investment. Uh, I wish my financial people had good investments like that. Uh, you know, but like I say, I, I think there's some resentment there. I mean, go back to you know the, the, the thing with the Alabama tree part. There's always some resentment there. But like I say, I think he's just a he's just great, and some.